Now, I don't know if you could call this a poem. I don't know if it goes under the poem category, but we can just pretend and act like it does. It's more just my thoughts, my feelings regarding my brothers being in Africa. So this is about my brother Dakota, almost like a little tribute to him. Facebook posts, journal entries, three of them. I want to share them with you guys. And I don't want this to sound like a stereotype or have this be like a racist comment, but I don't even know if I should, I should say this, but it's, hey Dakota, how's Africa? Say hello to Africa for me. Pet the zebras and elephants for me, which he has not seen yet, nor do we think he will see during his two years there, whatever. But okay, so June 18th, 2K19 of this year. I'm so proud of Dakota, my little brother, one of my best friends. He left for his mission to South Africa today, and I won't see him for two years. I'll miss laughing at nothing and everything with him. I'll miss his jokes and fun personality. I'll miss him so much. He is doing a wonderful thing and participating in Heavenly Father's work and plan as a missionary in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I know that God will keep him safe and protect him and bless him with beautiful experiences and opportunities. I'm excited to update him with two long and overly detailed emails. I'm excited to make a missionary binder full of said emails. Dakota, I love ya. <clears throat> I'm gonna get choked up. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Thanks for being such a good brother and friend to me. You'll be such an amazing example and light on your mission. Godspeed, Elder McAllister. Now let's jump to July 18th of this year. This is a month out for him. Dakota has been gone one month as of today, the 18th. A long month for me, but I'm guessing a quick month for him. I know it's a little bit selfish, and I'm so happy. <laughs> so happy. I lost my spot, you guys. <laughs> um, 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 um. Um, 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 so... Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Okay. I am so happy and excited for Dakota, but one month down means one month closer to him coming home. I love and miss him so much. He is doing good. My water bottle just popped. And my phone has been going off, so I hope that, you know, ugh, guys, this is such a disaster. Dakota, he loves me anyway, even though I'm crazy. Um, I love and miss him so much. He is doing good, and he says things are going good over there in his South Africa mission. See you in around 23 months, my dude. Now, let's rewind a little bit. This is June 25th of this year. There's a story behind this shirt. You can see in this picture, you can't really see it in full detail, but it does say Coca-Cola on the front, and it's a pretty sweet A shirt. I love it, and it's technically from him, kind of. I'll explain. So, this is what I explain. My oldest nephew started this trend. Well, there's a story behind the shirt. My oldest nephew started this trend that all my other little nephews have followed and one that my little niece might soon follow as well. I found out that the name Dakota is kind of hard for little kids to pronounce. The nephews call my brother Dakota, Coca, Dakota's choice of spelling the nickname, K-O-K-A, -K until they are able to pronounce his name correctly. That's when the McAllister family inside joke was born, and I sometimes jokingly call Dakota Coca-Cola. Hence why I got him this shirt that I'm currently sporting. Dakota asked me to hold on to it for him until he returns from his church mission. He says it's mine for now, to his words, remember him by. I know this was said as a joke, but it made me think that Dakota is impossible to forget. He's been gone as of today, Tuesday, June 25th, for a week, and just over three hours as his plane took him away from Tri-Cities and off to Africa at 7 a.m. on the 18th this month. I love that kid, and I'm excited to get him back in two years. Love you, Coca. I'll keep your shirt safe. So that's the story of the Coca-Cola shirt. And that's the story of my thoughts and feelings regarding about my brother Dakota and how he is. Uh, it makes me kind of sort of sad to think about, but he is serving in Africa. And... I don't want to rant or ramble too much because I may or may not get emotional and that may or may not be embarrassing. But anyway, I'm actually going to go write to him. We write him, my parents and I, and my brothers and sisters, they try to, or my brother and sister, they try to write him as well as often as they possibly can. I now try. 
a two-in-one week, so usually definitely Sunday, and then I also try midweek Thursday. Just a little update, spiritual thought, just how are you doing, this is, how is it going for me, whatever, and so I'm going to go do that right now. So, yeah, um, to Dakota, dear Dakota, I love you, I miss you, I pray for you, I think of you every day, I pray for you every day. You are an awesome soul, a good person, and the best brother, and I love you so much. Okay. All right. Bye, Dakota. I'll see you soon.